you gave him a false hope. You gave him a false hope, and then you went, you know what, never mind, I'm going to let them die. Oh my god, lady. You know, it was already dramatic enough, watching the thing, the island get destroyed, mm -hmm. and then you act like you're going to let them go. But you know why she did that? Why? Because, and I quote, they're alive, just like me. <laughs> yeah, and they're gonna eat kids, just like you. <laughs> uh, I mean, I get it, they're dangerous, but it's like, uh... Calling out around the world Are you ready for a brand new beat? Summer's here and the time Get it, Mario? Why are we reviewing a movie about dinosaurs? There were no dinosaurs in our video games. I do not know, Luigi. All I know is that we watched a trilogy of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was our own movie, but that was just a, a studio thing, you know? They said they gotta put dinosaurs in it. Because they get no idea thing. They had so many scripts. Let's watch all three movies. What could possibly go wrong? Three movies at once. And now our minds are mush. We watch the first two movies. Are you gonna be okay? No! We watch the first two movies at Morgan's house. The first one was the best one, and it sucked because it was Define pretty, best. It, like, as in it was the most tolerable out of all three. Yeah. Um. The, so the first one was pretty much a ripoff of the original Jurassic Park, just without the charm. The second one was predictable, the movie, and just stupid. And this one was... It was like two movies going on at once. Like, it didn't even feel like it was Jurassic Park. It just felt like an action flick. But we're going to sprinkle some dinosaurs in, like spice. Ah, and then this movie, it was so, so, so boring. Well, someone's in trouble. They're going to stop the movie. Yeah, they're going to stop the movie. <laughs> they're, they're You're too late. We already watched it. <laughs> yeah. They're coming. Don't you see? They'll pay their tickets. It was they're... bad. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing can stop dinosaurs. Like, they're already in your next. It made uh. Jungle Cruise feel entertaining. That's how boring it was. No, no, I've seen worse. And I'm thankful you did not see this one. Alien Covenant is hands down one of the worst franchise entries of any franchise mm. I've ever seen. If you want to see a movie that shoots itself in the foot so bad, you don't see skeleton toes. That is what you see. Alien fucking covenant. It goes in so many directions. It takes so many ideas and just chucks them out the window. Here, I can at least see seeds of a good idea. I can see seeds of a good thing, but it doesn't come together because it's so clunky. The first half was fine. It was fine up until a certain point when they did something with the clone plot. My idea is that when they went into this one, they said, let's try and rectify what happened with the past one. But because they got themselves in a corner with that goddamn clone storyline, they had to change it somehow. They had to alter it somehow. So they said, no, we're going to make it like as if the scientist made a clone of herself. Okay, fine. What direction is this going into? And then 30 seconds, 30 seconds when they explained how she got cloned, I was like, done. I'm done. This is junior territory. I am done. Uh, prehistoric locust plot? Fine. Retrieving a baby raptor? Fine. I stop at the logic of cloning because that is not how cloning works. And it got worse from there. It was a steady, okay slope. You're not doing too good movie, but I can handle some of this. I can handle the big Alaskan oasis. I can handle Dodson making his own laboratory, keeping these dinosaurs contained in this little area. I can handle that Fine, but when you take science fiction and make it stupid like that, oh no, I am done, movie. I am done. There were moments where I was so close to leaning over to you and saying, do you want to leave?
There were so many moments where I could have said that, but I didn't, because I didn't know what direction it was going to go into. But it just kept getting dumber and dumber and dumber every single step of the way. So, in other words, we would not recommend this movie. No. Stick to the original three movies. No. And, you know, those had their flaws, too, but at least they were coherent. The, these <sighs> movies, each movie felt like it was trying to be something completely different. Like, it... It just... Uh, it there, made, uh, my, my, my mind is mush. It... Uh, th there's... There six are. hours of six hours straight of us watching these movies. Six hours. Oh my god, my mind is mush. This this is almost up there with the Star Wars sequels. That's how bad it is. And I say almost because there's at least some good things I can take away from. There's at least good shots. There are some good scenes, but at the same time, it is entangled with this plot line that goes nowhere. And the ways they try to bury in, Excuse bless me. you, the blaze they try to bury in the plot holes and say, we can explain this, we can explain that, don't add up. The way they try to connect these things and say, no, it's about this, no, it's about that, just don't make sense. It is such a cookie dough clusterfuck of a film. <laughs> Yeah. I cannot forgive it that much. Yeah. I'm... I remember there's one fan... Uh, you heard this too. There's one fan service moment near the end between Alan and um, Laura Grant's uh, character. There's one tiny moment near the end. And all I heard was... And that was it. Just... That's it. Yeah. <laughs> there's your applause movie. Just... Silence. Yeah. Silence. There was silence. There was maybe light snickering, kid shuffling, nothing. Nothing. At least Jungle Cruise had a coherent beginning, middle, and end. It was just reheated leftovers. Yeah. I was one of the few people that actually liked the Star Wars sequel, so I'll just leave it at that. But this, I... this, this, this was not coherent at all. No. And, like, you know, it was nice seeing the characters from the first, you know, Jurassic Park, but... That I could handle. It was when we if got... the movie was just about their plot... Yes. Like, if it wasn't about the new characters yes. at all, I think it would have worked, but no. It, and yeah. how they tried to mesh the two together was just like, oh, they met. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the stuff of the locusts and them trying to alter the food chain, it's like, okay, that I can buy. It feels like something fell out of the drama strain. I thought it was stupid, but execution-wise, it's like, no, it actually makes sense. Because Dodson's big plan is to try and reinvent the chain with, like, genetic foods and things like that. So he makes a strain of locusts to try and be, like, the big heavy buyer, the supplier, the conglomerate of the world. I can actually buy that. I actually like that. I wanted more of that plot but they're so cornered with the stupidity of the previous two that they were in such a corner that they said no 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 no. we screwed up with the last one we gotta fix this somehow and because of that that's where it shoots itself in the foot so much yeah. because they have this great idea but it's anchored to this really this other one that could work, but it doesn't. And I honestly felt like Jurassic... I felt so bad for the airplane pilot character. Yeah, and also yeah, because she was like one of the best parts of this <sighs> movie was her. I agree. I I feel like I Jurassic agree. World should have just been the one movie. It should have. It shouldn't have been. They shouldn't have done a trilogy because the trilogy was just so incoherent, mm. and it, it was dumb. Yeah. And. Ugh. Like, this movie was very predictable, too, but the second movie was just so... Oh, my... Like, I was, like, saying, okay, this is going to happen, and then it happened. You were calling so yeah. many shots. You were calling so many shots. Oh, the dinosaur's going to get impaled. What do you know? And the, this movie... Oh, my God. There's got to be studio notes. I would love to see a making of documentary to see where all this went wrong. And their reason for wanting the girl was still stupid. Like, why do they need to kidnap her? I, I... You know the funny thing? They already had all the information they needed, so what was the point? What was the point of kidnapping her and the baby dinosaur? It's like... 
because her mother that genetically cloned her inside her womb made a special DNA strand to modically gratify her. It's called Gattaca. Go watch Gattaca. It's a better movie than this. Gattaca had more interesting ideas about modifying people before birth, adding genes and things like that. And the big payoff of Gattaca is that no matter how you genetically modify someone, it's important to give them in a nurturing universe to grow them up, experience things. So when they do things that are so practical, like say swimming, they're not going to understand the complete complications of movement or aerobics. <laughs> Better movie. Go see Gattaca. <laughs> so yes, again, we would not recommend the, we, we would not recommend any of these movies. Just watch the original uh, trilogy. You know, <sighs> just watch the original trilogy. Pretend that these ones don't exist. They are now gone. They no longer exist. Poof, bye-bye. <laughs> You know, these felt more like really bad, incoherent fanfics than movies. Yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm keeping Susan in... I... Yeah. No. I, I can't remember the last time I was this furious at a movie, and I'm trying to, like, not break out an angry morning because like, it's not worth like, it. Like, again, again, Jungle Cruise was boring, but that was more coherent than this. I mean, I think the only movie for me that was more boring than this was my sister and I, we went to watch the first Ewok movie. That was only 90. Oh, that the was, Ewok that, adventure. Yeah, that was only 90 minutes long, but it felt like it was a three-hour movie. Mm, that it was... was so boring, and we are mm. like, we're not going to watch the sequel. Because, you know, at, when we were children, we loved that movie, and we decided to go down memory lane, and oh. then we're like, um... No, this oh. was bad. Oh, you you didn't jump on to see the little scene where one of the Ewoks apparently slips up and says, Ewok Hitler. <laughs> I, I, maybe it's my mind, but I could have sworn there's one point where one actually says that. I, I don't, don't know if it's remember. Mandela effect. I don't remember, but I just... Ewok Hitler. It's like, he's got to say Ewok Hitler. Yeah, mm. yeah, uh, yeah, so, mm -hmm. yes, yes, we did not like this movie. And again, we watched all three movies. Oh my god, uh, we should have... Uh... Like, I almost wanted to cancel us going to see this movie because I was not having it by the end of the second movie. Mm. And I'm like, no, we committed. Eh, we committed. Let's watch it. Maybe it'll surprise us. Maybe it'll be good. Maybe we'll like it. It's okay. And we didn't. It's okay. The, yeah. it's a, the important thing is we experienced it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, how are we, how are we going to know the difference between an entertaining movie and an entertainingly bad movie and a frustratingly bad movie. Yeah, this They're, was not even yeah. entertaining. Like, no. no, And, like, the main characters, they suffered from main character syndrome. Mm -hmm. And what was with... Why were, why were these movies so obsessed with people getting their hands bit off? Because in the first one you had Samuel Jackson's character with his whole arm. Just, I know, but it was like every ugh. in every single movie they had like a, a character get their hand bit off, or they mm. had a character be tossed up in the air and land in someone's mouth. It just felt yeah. like they were trying to, like, and like all the shit that keeps happening to the poor dinosaurs, like this, you know, the volcano in the second uh -huh. movie. That was, and then in this movie, the black mark, and then almost getting gassed in yeah. the gothic mansion with James Cromwell. Yeah, and it's like, ugh, you just feel bad for them because it's like just let them live. It's like let yeah. leave them alone in their saint. And another thing that made no sense in this movie: how did the dinosaurs spread throughout the world so quickly? Was it was it supposed to be because of the embryos being stolen in the second movie? Is that why? Embryos being stolen, they're being sold in the black market. Okay, okay I feel like I it was guess. a bigger idea and here. And then the stupid but... thing with the shaving cream. Oh, hey, yeah, that, that's a, back. We're making a nod that's to the first back. movie. Oh, look, we have the original actors from the first movie. <laughs> we have this guy dies from little... <laughs> you know... <laughs> If it wasn't for Lost World Jurassic Park, there would have been a sequel about the shaving cream can. I'm not kidding. There would have been a whole movie about them going in and retrieving that thing. And you know what? There is a better Jurassic Park sequel. And it's not a movie. 
It's called Jurassic Park The Game. It's a PC game where you play as a father on the island with his daughter. They're a little estranged and stuff, and they get caught up in this whole espionage situation with people being hired by Dotson to go in and retrieve the shaving cream cam, and the events happen concurrently the same way as the first movie, and it's interesting. And you actually get to play as the characters, get different endings, someone majorly dies at the end, and stuff like that. That is more interesting. I would actually love to see that. Yeah. So, there you go. Play Jurassic Park the game. Don't... It, it's, like, so great because of the stakes that thing. You get to explore more of the islands and the discarded stuff. There's, like, a whole thing online. You can see all the cutscenes stitched together like a movie. Like, go go play that. Yeah. There you go. It's like I'll a choose adventure game. I'll wait a bit because game. I'm so burned out by Jurassic Park. Just the theme is... <sighs> I can't even think of a single sequel where I'm just, just like... It just annoys me because I rewatched the original a few months ago with my sister and it was just, you know, it held up really good. And then yeah. you watch this garbage and it's like... Where do we get to here? Yeah. It, <sighs> the whole... And it's funny too because rewatching the first two, it's like they're going with a certain aesthetic and idea like, what are we going to do with the dinosaurs? Are we going to weaponize them? Are we going to integrate them into society and it seems like they're going with that thesis and then here it's jettisoned right out the window it's yeah. not about that anymore which makes it even more yeah because i felt like this movie annoying. did not know what it wanted to do it just no. it felt like it was two different movies with the two you know with the old characters and the new characters and then when they met and they meshed together it was just bleh. I feel like it might have been a case where after what happened with the last one, they backed themselves into a corner. They didn't mm -hmm. know where to go with this one. Yeah. So they just said, okay, we're going to throw it up in the air and see what sticks. Uh, Ghostbusters 2007, not 2000, uh, Ghostbusters, well, even that's a little too recent. Um, their mentality was probably thinking, oh, sequels currently are getting some of the old cast back together and trying to revive them. That's getting more attention. Okay, let's do something like that, like a mini reunion and a mini sequel last month at the same time. And that can be done well. Uh, last month, I saw Top Gun Maverick. I thought I wasn't going to like that. I was actually surprised. This is coming from someone who only seen part of the first movie and wasn't a big fan of it. That was incredible. Like, as a film on its own, it really did work. And some of the stuff they said from the previous film with some of the characters, it's more about the legacy and everything else and passing the torch. That works so much better. And it's just... It's. I'm, I'm so mad at this movie. Yeah. I can't even form sentences. I, I can't believe this. The one film I didn't expect to enjoy was actually better than Dinosaurs. Mm. Uh, yeah. I think it just disappoints me too because I remember when they first when I first saw advertisements for the first Jurassic World. You know, I thought it looked really good and I was excited and. You know, trailers for the second one, from what I saw, I was excited. And then, you know, to actually sit down and watch all three of them, and it's like, I just felt like I wasted six hours of my life. Like, six hours of my life. I cannot get back. Ugh. At least I was there to suffer with you. Yeah, at least you were. We got to suffer together. I love you, Megan. No matter I love what. you, too. We're celebrating, it's a week early, but we're celebrating our one year anniversary this week. So, well, for you guys, it might, when this airs, it might be then. I don't know. But... Or it might be tomorrow, depending on how things go. Yeah, depending. Yeah, but oh yeah. Oh my God. We... Even then, I wasn't too hyped about light years, so I didn't know how you'd feel about that. Yeah, that one I'm kind of meh about, like, I don't know. Yeah. Like, I kind of want to see it, but it's not one I'm ru I am want to rush to see. Yeah. No. Uh, I, I probably wait for it until Disney Plus. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I would not recommend this no. movie. No. Not even as haha -ha bad. It was, no, it was, no. All no. three of these movies, no. No. Just, no. no. Just, I wouldn't. No. Maybe the first movie... I'd say out of the three of them, the first one was the best one, but that's... That's not saying a lot. Yeah, that's definitely not saying a lot. The, Jura the first Jurassic World had at least fun moments, but I wouldn't say it's something I want to want to revisit again and again and yeah, again. Yeah, no, that's Cause not Because there are I some things do. that don't add up, like the divorce subplot. Yeah. Uh, Vincent D'Onofrio. And then we know. never see those kids again. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I, w I would hate to see the cut to them in movie number three. Yeah. Uh, f Fallen Kingdom. I, uh, 
Wow, there was a reason I didn't and revisit the, the movie. The stupid after name which. drop at the end of Fallen Kingdom. We now live in a Jurassic world. I screamed. Uh, not I a fan. screamed when they when he said, mm. "Was that the scene where I screamed, or was there another scene that I screamed?" Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was. I literally just screamed. <laughs> it's like, are you okay? <laughs> You were predicting this movie every which way you can. You predicted the reveal of the clone plot before they even said it. Yes, because I'm like, why are they so secretive about this child? Oh, she's going to be a clone. She's a clone. Man, there was a reason I didn't revisit that movie after the theaters. I guess mm, why. Yeah. It's the only positive I can give at least those cost like two dollars i mean i if i am to give positive stuff i will admit that i did like that in the third movie they were showing dinosaurs with how they were supposed to look and that they kind of explained the plot hole you know about why dinosaurs are not accurate it's like oh well because we were using plugs in their dna yeah so because this this um biodome they were breeding Biodome. natural. <laughs> Biodome. That they were breeding. Are they watch Biodome? Go on. Yeah, they were breeding natural dinosaurs with how they were supposed to look like with the feathers and stuff like that. So I did like that, but yeah. aside from that, no. That's the way to shut the scientists up who say the dinosaurs in this movie are not accurate. Well, they're using different DNA with different creatures. Even yeah. they said that in the first one too. Yeah. For the frog DNA. Yeah. So at least I could accept that a little bit. But oh, they got to be scientifically accurate. Well. Even they mention there's holes in the DNA, so they got to fill it with something. It's like you got a Boston cream donut without the cream filling. You got to put it with jelly or something. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Well, until next time. Oh, trailers. <laughs> there wasn't oh, too much yeah, for trailers. trailers. Um, yeah, we got Top Gun Maverick, which was weird because... And Avatar again. And Avatar again. Uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse looks, looks fun. Yeah, that does look good. That was like the only new one that we had saw, because the other ones we had mm. already seen. I could have sworn. I thought they pushed that back to next year. I could be right no, around. They're, they're saying it's supposed to be in October, uh, so... Let me take a peeky. Because when I heard about, like, yay, they're doing another Spider-Verse, it's like, oh, they're pushing it back. What? Uh... No, so they are pushing. Okay. Well, they need to change because the trailer was still saying October. Yeah. Oh, well. They they were getting some weird late trailers. Oh, well. Oh, well. Until next time, guys. I don't know. I I put some trailers in front of the Jurassic World (laughs) double feature. Were they better than the ones we saw? Yeah. Uh, Uh, At least the world according to Garp looked fun. (laughs) Yeah, that, that did look good. Yeah, with Robin Williams. Dum 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 da da dum da dum 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 <laughs> Waste of time Waste of time That was such a waste of time What the hell was going on? In these stupid films. What the fuck did we just watch? I want to tear out my eyes. Let's go home. Let's go home. Bye.